Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hey! It is Pixel Partners, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All when we left off. <laughs> We're back in court. Well, it's Sound the like first time. Justice for All. Justice for All. We're back in court with the fucking Max Galacta trying to defend him from the, the everything on the planet. <laughs> or, well, not his, his real name, Billy Bob something. Billy Bob, I, I, I Billy Bob was, John. I think it was... Was it Billy Bob Jones? No. Billy Bob John? Billy Bob Jones? Billy, Billy Bob, Bob Jones? Billy something Bob like John. that. Anyways, something. Gumshoe's yeah. gonna say the details yeah. of the events. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck, I need to turn the TV down. I didn't do that. Whoops, that was really loud. The night of the crime, snow <laughs> was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15. Huh. The victim was found bent over a wooden box dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped that vertebrae in his neck. Jesus. God damn. That sounds horrifying. It is. I see. He was beaten to death. With wood? Oh god. <laughs> Here's the autopsy report for the victim. Mmm, the court accept <laughs> the court accept this into evidence. <laughs> well, that's the typo. Okay. <laughs> Way to go, developers. All types of support added to the court record. Blunt force trauma to the back of the head, time of death ten fifteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. A burnt object. Mmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Not quite sure what I can uh, yeah, no. <laughs> figure out on here. Alright. And the crime snow is falling until 9.40 p.m. I'm extremely cold out. Hold it! Are you sure it was snow or was it just ice? <laughs> Let me ask you about the snow. <laughs> You're talking about the snow. <laughs> it was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half on the ground was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow. Let me see. There's got to be more to this. Eh, hey, what's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the core record. Now, Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? I guess, uh... Hang on, so I'll go back to the first one, because obviously they're all, they've already pointed out that there's something going on here for me. Yeah. Alright, the only thing that was the crime photo, because they were talking about the snow, because uh, it's only got his footprints there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The hat made to order. That's not going to do anything. Room Master's Papers. Poster, bottle, circus map, money, the fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, that monkey. ring, remember? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save because I guess I'll present the coin photo. Nope, that's nothing. Is that who reveals the day? Yeah, no, they're not related. Oof. Ouchies. Okay, I'll go and re not save, reload oh, that. Oh, button mashing almost came to be the, made the end of me. Jesus. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, you know, I, 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 I mean, I already pointed out that there's something that we need to know about here. Yeah. Uh, um, do I have anything in the profiles about any kind of times or stuff? Nope, 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 nope. Um, <sighs> fuck, you might need to pull up that walkthrough soon. Okay. Alright, all the service performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. As I invited the section broke up around 10 p.m. Mercy of the place in front of the lighting house at 10.15. Victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Cause of death was a blunt force to the snap of a vertebrae. You never see what there is on this. <laughs> According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? Oh, this is you. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> the police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made it disappear with magic. <laughs> there wasn't much that we could go after Gumshoe with this time. He gave us the facts as he saw them, but there's got to be more to this. I didn't see anything, but that's why you're the lawyer and I'm the medium. It's gotta be something about the first statement, but I don't know what it could be. It's not falling to make it extremely cold out. I didn't see out. anything either. That's why you're the gamer and I'm the... Because I would think the picture would be something <laughs> to do with it, but fucking... This is episode... Uh, three. Three, okay. Already? Damn. Yeah. 
Because the first episode was the intro episode, and then the last one was... Uh, what was the last one? I forgot already. Wait, I literally right. forgot what the last time was. You okay. have to... Anyways. Did we press him on the night of the crime snow was falling? Yeah. Yeah. Press him on the victim was bent on a wooden box. Wooden box. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let's do that. All right. A wooden box? That's right. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Carrying the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? God dang it. Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Wooden box. This 20 pound box that boasts a small but strong lock. Huh. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. Uh. Oh, jeez. About the contents, or is it still locked? Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than four knocks. That rhymed. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. What? What is that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. It's inside the bottle. It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if it has some sort of special meaning. So I came to pepper. Huh. The fuck? Oh, okay. The, well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. I guess that's all we're going to get out of Gumshoe in this case. Yeah. You mean all we're going to get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? I guess... Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Eh, I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. Oh, oh, okay, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy, you know. <laughs> Go with the Thank ladies, you, you know very I'm much, saying. Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. No, oh, damn, okay. <laughs> Where's Von Karma? Your next witness... I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. No, <laughs> she must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trilla will show up on the stand as well. Oh, you know it. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah. man. Okay, let's do this shit. Please state your name and occupation for the record. <laughs> <laughs> My full name is Trillo Quist. I'm an em <laughs> I am employed as an operatic tenor. <laughs> Excuse me. Nani? <laughs> Nani? The witness called to the stand was one ben Mr. Benjamin Woodman Ventriloquist. <laughs> that role must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine. I'll grace you with a song. <clears throat> Me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. What should I make this? <laughs> Whatever you want. You just improv a song. <laughs> the world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence. <laughs> Decided by a judge, dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? <laughs> oh, she's unimpressed. He's unimpressed. It had a good rhythm. Don't encourage him. <laughs> it's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Trilo, you know, you know better than the insult the judge. Shut up. Just look at your nose. You think you, you would think you'd have the sense to fix it. It's so ugly, I want to punch you in the face off the chest. On the off chance, swelling would help. Oh, God. <laughs> you know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star. <laughs> Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds. <laughs> What's going on here? What? Uh, what? Uh, I demand to know who the witness is. Don't worry about me, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about... You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. Oh, man. All right, <laughs> yes. so what you witnessed, Ben or Trilo, whichever one is the witness at <laughs> this point, I don't know. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean, clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched them and went back to the plaza's entrance. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one headed that way. How could that punk not be the killer? 
Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene? You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? <laughs> but that, that's enough! I think we all get the picture. There's one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? Huh. He's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. Why's that? Here's absolute proof. At Silk Hat? This was found at the scene of the crime. It belonged to the defendant. Ah. Uh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Mmm. Well done, Miss Von Kama. Your prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. Curtsy. <laughs> say, <laughs> thank you for stating the obvious. <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Uh, uh okay. I guess she's the boss <laughs> again today. <sighs> yeah. All right. You, <laughs> you. What's your problem, pointy head? <laughs> 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 All right, uh, once I was over, I left the tent with the stooge, I mean the clown. Let's get more info on this. Yeah. The clown. You're talking about Mo? Of course I'm talking about that old fart. He's so pathetic, I can't stand him. Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place. Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of the way to kill Nova for good. Poor guy. <laughs> we didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. When it comes to being a first-place loser, that guy's head of the pack. Mmm, then what happened? Okay, and then once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. Hold it. <laughs> Why the plaza's entrance? To do some thinking, of course. It was awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should have <laughs> leave the thinking to the witness. I, 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 but I'm a good thunker. At least my teachers always said I was. I'm a good thunker. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. So I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How can you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? What? Get the wax out of your ears! Lawyers nowadays, you're like talking to a brick wall! Max's three-piece getup, jeez! Could you be any more dense? All together now! Silk <laughs> hat! Cloak! White roses! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I... <laughs> Nick, I think you should put a little more effort into preparing your questions. I think you should put some effort into finding a new job, Maya. <gasps> <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're gonna hit that way, I got that punk not be the killer. You saw Max and only Max, right, Trilo? That's right, and that makes him the killer. There's only one person headed that way that night. Mmm, that makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one suspicious character. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Like a transformer. Is there something you're missing this? Save. <laughs> Should I check this out? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Uh, because I was thinking when he was saying that he only saw Max and potentially did he not see the, 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 the victim? Let me try this one. Mm. It's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Who else do you suppose this witness could have seen? Well, um, I'll just throw out, the uh, uh, yeah. Russell Berry. That's the victim. Oh! That's correct. <laughs> it makes if, sense. <laughs> if Trilo is at the entrance to the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. <laughs> Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness could have seen him. Anyone else with the, could anyone with sense could have figured that one out. <laughs> what are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant? A likely story. 
If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the Ringmaster's room, why was he just as the witness stated at the scene of the crime? I fuck. I see. It seems that at this stage I have no reason to doubt this witness's testimony. Now clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. He is right. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Hmm, Trilla wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. Which is Which is probably why Max <laughs> clonked him over the, he over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I don't know anymore. Yeah, for real. God. Yeah. Okay, a reset. Uh, yeah. fuck. I don't know then. Uh, 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 please shut up and took away Magic Boy. <laughs> Go ahead and pull up the walkthrough while I do this. Okay. <laughs> around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Hmm, I suppose that would have been around... Hey, what time was it? <laughs> I think it was around... I'd, I'd say a bit after 10.30 p.m., I think. <laughs> Practicing at 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? <laughs> I, 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 I guess that sounds about right. <laughs> Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe he just stand outside in that weather. <laughs> well, uh, uh the, 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 the truth is... Will you shut up, you big nose dope? Why are you telling him anything extra? Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in that weather? Well, maybe you're waiting for someone? W -w 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 what? Who said we were waiting for someone? Objection! Mr. Phoenix Rides, we can all do without your off-handed series. Objection! Yeah, oh. da -da 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 -da. But... This witness, he's cracking under the pressure already. I'm on to something. Mm, Mr. Wright, who do you suppose the witness was waiting for out in the cold that night? Regina. Uh, obviously, he's going to be his love by Regina Berry. <laughs> well, yep. if he was waiting yep. outside in the cold, it was for one person. Don't need the, don't need the walkthrough, never mind. <laughs> nope. And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> He fucking exploded. Well, yeah. he's dead now. You're waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? Hmm. Is this true? Well, I, um, uh, you, you can't really ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it. Well, well, well. The puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Eh? <laughs> All right. There's obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. Ah! <laughs> Exploded again. <laughs> Jesus. That makes perfect sense. What did you just say? The witness saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else other than Max heading to the... Oh, fuck! <laughs> there is absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um... Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> I guess you got me. Alright, alright, I'll spill the beans for real this time. It's true, I was waiting for Regina. <laughs> pain! Pain! <laughs> pain! <laughs> Don't volunteer things. <laughs> Mr. Quist, tell us the truth this time. And I mean the whole truth. And nothing but the truth. Come, you shut up. <laughs> were you or were you not waiting for Regina at the entrance to the lodging house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You were what? Where did you propose? <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. What's the matter? You think that humans have a monopoly on marriage? Well... That, that the matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. More your pain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Oh, man. About the proposal. <laughs> oh, Trilo. 
don't be so surprised that I was going to propose to Regina. <laughs> I even had something to give to her. Kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket that night. I was a pr It was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. Uh, no, we haven't. No, you don't. No, <laughs> I know exactly where to go already, so. You are going to propose? You, you uh, a puppet? Don't be so obtuse. Just because I'm a puppet doesn't mean I can't love. Uh, well, yes, yes, <laughs> I it guess does. you're right. <laughs> Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to her, too. Please oh. don't. Please don't. <laughs> exactly. No, the, the, his honor is looking a little less than I'm right now. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with your cross-examination. What was with that sigh at the end? I don't... Is he, like, upset that he can't marry a 16-year-old girl? Now? What? Oh, judge. Oh, this is getting weird. No. It's getting weird. Oh, jeez, Rick. I had some giver. Oh, it was a present for her. In the end, I wasn't able to give her a pocket. Yeah, I don't know about that one, chief. I don't, I don't, I don't know You're about that You're not going to press one. any of the things? I guess I'll press it. I won't press the other things. I don't need to. No, so I want to talk more. <laughs> so you're still thinking about trying to give it to Regina. Of course I am. I spent three months salary on this thing. I'm not going to give it up that easily. <laughs> hmm. I wonder how much he receives for appearing in the circus. Probably way more than he <laughs> deserves. How about it, Nick? I think it's about time to unwrap this toy's testimony. That's the spirit, Nick. Give him heck. Judge has that dazed and confused look again. <laughs> Maybe you should get out more. <laughs> Randomly he throwing shade at the yeah. judge. All right, you. Let's 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 get to the. Oh, I gotta go on that way. Let's get to the end of this. You. How? What? How was that not relevant? Excuse me. Ex ex excuse me. Excuse what? me. Um. Excuse okay, me. let me, let me, Excuse hold on, me. I'm gonna. And I, it was a for her. You have to present it to, oh wait, no. Press him on, I even had something to give to her. Okay, so I mean, you do it's, have to press on things. I mean, it seemed pretty self-explanatory, but. Yeah, but. What was it exactly you planned to giving, on giving her? You know exactly what I was planning on going to give a numbskull. The only thing I could find that could match Regina's beauty. Answer his question. What was it? You're gonna die when you hear this. It's an engagement ring. E engagement ring? <laughs> wow, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. Mr. Phoenix Wright's joke has gone too far. Time for this to end right here. Francesca's whiplash is about to lash out at almost anything. It will. If nothing, will probably shut someone up for a long time. It'll kill them. A uh, pain equals bad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's great. I'm gonna push on anyways. Yeah, you I'm have a strong to, yeah. trooper. It may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. The first time that a puppet has ever proposed to a human being. Ah, fuck! <laughs> I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going uh. to have to agree with the defense here. Would the witness please revise their testimony? Specifically about the engagement ring, I'd like to stick to facts, not sociology. You sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love him. I planned on giving an engagement ring to Regina. Press it. An engagement ring? Uh-huh. It's actually a diamond-shaped stone cut from glass. Even more brilliant than the real thing. I think Regina's going to love it. It's just a ring. What's the matter, Nick? Well, there's got to be something I can catch him on. All right, I guess now I can go to the end because he says he st he still has it, but obviously that's not true because I have it in my fucking pocket. Yeah, the pocket. No, pocket, pocket, pocket. I'm on the pocket one. Of course, no, I had it in my pocket. In, in the end, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Wait. Um. There. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was on that one. Whoops. Nope. Okay. You were not. Fuck. All right. There. And I was like, I thought I'm doing no, the right thing. No. All right. Trillo, do you mind if I show you something? <laughs> but, but, but what is it? What are you talking about? 
Uh oh, looks like they're going to double team me now. Oh jeez. Do you recognize this ring? <laughs> ah, that's, that's, that's mine! Give it back, thief! Thief! Didn't you just testify about this very object? I believe you said, in the end, it wasn't able to get, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I've still got it in my pocket. <laughs> Why then do I have it right here? Ah! <laughs> oh boy. What is going on here? That's, that's, Ben say something. <laughs> I found this in Money's room. But, but, but Money's room? You mean a room they put money in, put like, like a bank vault? Hey, that filthy monkey is going to get what's coming to him. Mr. Chris, I would prefer if you avoided slandering innocent fiats in my court. Well, Your Honor, money really is a monkey in every sense of the word. Ah, I see. Well, well, well then. Money likes to go after the shiniest things he can find and gather them up. Shiny things? <laughs> Tree love. <laughs> when was this ring stolen from you? But, well, it, it, it was, it, it, I suppose it was that, that, that time, you know, that night, the night of the crime. What did you just say? Details. I need more details. Well, it, 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 it was so right after my Max showed up in the pads. <laughs> <laughs> right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? But well, um, um, I, guess, I guess you might um, um, be, be able to say that. The ring might have, well, it, it could have been a, well, taking around the time. Taking around the time. Oh, God, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man, that's a weird one to do. <laughs> yeah. Ben, what's with you? Oh, whatever. It has nothing to do with anything, especially not who committed the murder. It's not for you to decide what has to do with what. Now, Trilo, back to the topic at hand. I haven't admitted a thing. Not I, Mr. Trilo Quist. What did you do when the ring was taken, Trilo? You know exactly what I did. I chased after that ring snatching monkey money. But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all this slow, loafy fool called Ben's fault. While he was fumbling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away. That is indeed an incredible shame. <laughs> well, this does need prove one very important point. Prove an important point? What point could that possibly be? Uh, I'm pretty ben sure... Ben doesn't exercise enough. <laughs> His testimony is a flaw because that means he walked away and wasn't there the whole time yeah. like he said he was. Yep. There's a huge contradiction in this witness's testimony. C contradiction The witness just testified to the following effect. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. However, the witness just stated that he chased after Money the Monkey. When the witness was off chasing money, there was no yep. one watching the plaza. What is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? That he wasn't there? I think I just said that? <laughs> I'm saying that there's no possible way that this witness saw the plaza the entire time. Yep. It's not an eyewitness after all. That's where I'm going all. with this little theory. Which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Oh, gee, 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 gee. Interesting, Mr. Wright. Oh, God. Well, then tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Do you have any proof that something slipped past this vigilant ventriloquist? I... Well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. However, that does not change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. The witness is lying. He's blinded by his rivalry with Max. Oh, boy. They're going at each other's throats. For real. Well, the defense's argument does hold water. Like a bucket. Oh, Jesus. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you? I wouldn't lie just to get that dork face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him. No doubt about it. I saw that worthless liar. Well, just for clarity's sake, let's flesh out exactly who you saw that night. Hey, I told you so many times, you'd think you'd know my story's not changing. You've already changed your story, stick boy. Hey! And I'm sure we'll change some more. Where there is one lie, there are usually many more behind it. Exactly, Maya. 
That's why we have to keep after him. Yeah! Alright, stick boy. I like that one. Stick boy. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking turn you into firewood. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, well, I'll give you that I was waiting that night for Regina. Gotcha. But that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. Okay. He showed up after I'd been there waiting for about five minutes. Okay. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure I saw him. I saw Maximilian Galactica at the scene. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Mm. 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 So does that mean that money didn't show up until after you saw Max? That's right. Money ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. Then money snatched the ring and you went chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I, I suppose five minutes, I, th I think. So the victim could have arrived on the scene in that five-minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. <laughs> Witnessing Max cross-examination on a little stick, boy. Hey. Well, we're going to get to the bottom of this next time. I love doing his voice so much. <laughs> I know you do. You're having almost too much fun with can, it. Can you tell? Absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna put this stick boy to shame. That no. Yeah. You can go spiky boy. You and your hair. I did leave the spike you alone. You and your messed up hair. Leave my spike How many cans of gel do you use? Twenty-five. Leave my hair alone, man. <laughs> <laughs>